everyone. Welcome to CLJ Judgment Series. In this episode, we are going to discuss another recent judgment of Supreme Court under Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code 2016. As you all know, this platform is created to import legal education in simple and lucid manner. Before moving further for today's session, please subscribe to the channel for more update on corporate and commercial laws. Before moving forward, let's have a quick glimpse at the facts of the cases. The respondent number one company, that is Veet Gurjar Aluminium Industries Private Limited, is the corporate dater, and the respondent number two, JM Financial Assets Reconstruction Company Private Limited, is the financial creditor in the present suit. On 21st March 2018, respondent number two, JM Financial filed a complaint under Section 7 of IBC 2016 for initiation of corporate insolvency resolution process against the respondent number one company for default dated 8th July 2011 before the NCLT Mumbai bench. The educating authority considered corporate data default under IBC 2016 and ordered initiation of corporate insolvency resolution process without considering the point of limitation. The appellant then filed an appeal before NCLAT New Delhi questioning the maintainability of the application of the respondent. But the NCLAT rejected the appeal and held that the application for initiation of corporate insolvency resolution process was not barred by limitation. The aggrieved party then filed an appeal under Section 62 of IBC 2016 before Supreme Court against the judgment of NCLAT New Delhi in company appeal. The question before the court was whether the application under Section 7 of IBC 2016 on 21st March 2018 seeking initiation of corporate insolvency resolution process against the corporate data with specific assertion of the time of default as 8th July 2011 will be barred by limitation. Operation of Law of Limitation over IBC The main feature of IBC 2016 is that it is a beneficial and time-bound legislation. Corporate insolvency resolution process intend to protect interest of the corporate data. Code doesn't give new lease of life to debts which are time-barred. Period of limitation of corporate insolvency resolution process under Section 7 of the Code is governed by Article 137 of Limitation Act 1963. Financial creditor is free to trigger the Code for initiation of corporate insolvency resolution process within three years from the date of default. Default referred to non-payment by corporate data when due of amount of 1 lakh or more now which is 1 crore or more. Exception, no application under Section 7 of IBC 2016 for enforcement of mortgage liability and Article 62 of Limitation Act doesn't apply in IBC 2016. Finding of NCLAT New Delhi After decision of NCLT Mumbai for commencement of corporate insolvency resolution process without considering the point of limitation in the present case, the aggrieved party filed an appeal before NCLAT New Delhi on maintainability of the application. NCLAT considered the commencement date of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, which is 1st December 2016, as starting point of limitation for any application under Section 7 of the Code. Therefore, concluded that the application in the present case made in the year 2018 was within limitation and held that the application for the commencement of corporate insolvency resolution process was not barred by limitation. Findings of Supreme Court On appeal under Section 62 of IBC 2016 before Supreme Court, the court found that the limitation period under Section 7 of IBC 2016 governed by Article 137 of Limitation Act is three year, relying on the decision of Supreme Court in BK Educational Service case and concluded that this period of limitation commenced from the date of default has occurred and the period is extendable by application under Section 5 of Limitation Act on satisfaction of the authority. In the present case, no such application was submitted by Respondent No. 2 for extension of limitation. Section 18 of Limitation Act also doesn't apply here because of absence of any application for extension of limitation. 
Thus, present application under Section 7 of IBC 2016 is barred by limitation. Decision of Supreme Court Further, Supreme Court explained Article 141 of the Constitution which mandate that the judgment should be followed in letter and spirits. And the commencement date of IBC cannot form a trigger point of limitation for application under Section 7 of the Code. Thus, holding the finding of NCLAT New Delhi unsustainable for considering commencement date of the code for triggering limitation period, and held that respondent number two was not eligible for expansion of limitation period, and overruled the order of NCLT Mumbai and NCLAT New Delhi. It directed to annul all the proceedings undertaken in the said application, including appointment of resolution professionals.